The video captured by safety advocate and former WUSA 9 reporter Dave Statter, blurry but horrifying. Statter heard a police radio call for an attempted carjacking and zoomed in on I-395 at Boundary Channel Drive just in time to see the guy who was allegedly trying to take a second car. He was struck and knocked over. He'd allegedly ordered a woman out of another car, but it was a stick and he was unable to drive it. It was only later that Statter realized he'd also captured the same man running across first the inbound express lanes and then the outbound lanes. He then vanishes. We were convinced that that was my brother in those videos. There's no doubt that the video shows Sean. There's no doubt in our mind. It has been since Sunday and 27 year old Sean Burns family is desperate to find him. We just really want to find my brother and, and make sure that that he's OK. Um, we're looking for him. We're, we're trying to locate him um, and uh, we're just we're worried sick about his safety. Byrne had flown to D.C. to celebrate his sister's birthday, but just before it was time to fly back to Chicago, he seemed to suffer a psychotic break and fled the airport. Obviously, a young man in crisis. I'm a parent. You're a parent. We understand what it's like when it's our child, even if they're adults, that we need to we want to protect them. Arlington police so far have not named Sean Byrne as a suspect in the attempted carjackings. If they just named him as a person of interest and then went out looking for him, that would be helpful for you. That would be an amazing next step, yeah. It has been very tough for the family to watch the videos. He's really a gentle and caring person. They're pleading with anyone who spots Sean Byrne to call them and the police. In Arlington, Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9. We will have the Byrne family's phone number on our app and at WUSA9.com so you can call that family if you see Sean.